welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on the world of big data. Today my guest is from Infosys. We have Vishnu Bhatt, he's the VP of uh, Cloud Services at the company. Vishnu, welcome to the show today. Thank you, Rich. Glad to be here. So, so Vishnu, let, let's just start at the beginning. I mean, who is Infosys and uh, who do you help? Okay, um, Infosys is, is a global organization. Uh, we are headquartered out of Bangalore. Uh, we work over 60 countries. Um, we work with uh, key customers who are global 2000 clients, um, who are in the areas of uh, financial services, banking and financial services, uh, retail, uh, logistics, CPG, uh, life sciences. Uh, uh, we have customers in manufacturing, uh, both traditional and high-tech manufacturing, um, as well as uh, uh, energy utilities and communications. Um, so, and we work across the globe, across uh, um, uh, uh, emerging and mature markets, uh, US, UK, Europe, uh, Asia Pacific, uh, Australia, um, and Latin American countries as well. So that's our footprint uh, globally. Sure, sure. So, well, let's, uh, why don't we just go through your slides here. I, I brought them up on the screen, and then we'll uh, do a Q&A. Sure. All right. Um, so uh, here we are uh, talking about the Infosys Big Data Edge uh, platform, uh, which focuses on insight management. Um, and um, as part of our um, uh, Infosys 3.0 strategy, we took a big focus on, on cloud and cloud and big data. Um, and uh, our focus, again, centrally has been around um, our clients, uh, which are uh, the large corporations, uh, enterprises that we work with. Um, and the focus here is to bring significant value to enterprises from emerging technologies, um, as well as things that brings value to them from the assets that they currently have and, and technological disruptions that are, are currently happening um, in, in, you know, in our industry. Uh, so when you look at uh, big data, um, obviously uh, we have had uh, this word uh, being talked about for some time now. Um, and uh, what we uh, believed and uh, focused on as we started our journey uh, from a big data perspective is that uh, today uh, there's significant value that organizations are uh, realizing uh, from, uh, from big data and its applications um, around consumer sentiments and consumer information predominantly focused around data generated in social media, uh, which is out there in the internet, um, around consumer sentiments, consumer uh, sentiment analysis, brand, uh, sent brand analysis, uh, personalization, and so on and so forth. Uh, at the same time, um, it's um, important to realize that most organizations have a significant amount of, of uh, unstructured data within an enterprise that are not looked into, and this could be in the form of documents, um, in the form of document management systems, um, in the form of emails, chatter within the organization, logs, call center logs, historical logs, operational data histories, which are typically ducked around in tapes. Um, and, and stored away. Uh, so there's a huge amount of insight uh, that is there as part of unstructured data, which is about 80% of organizations' data. And uh, what we have focused on so far uh, from an enterprise perspective is, um, is looking at the data which are structured, which is just about 20% of an organization's data. And there's a huge value to be unlocked uh, from uh, this huge amount of, of data which has, been, uh, uh, which has not been looked at, which has been underutilized uh, which now the industry calls as, as dark data. Uh, so I'm going to the next slide, slide number two, which is realizing a business value from big data. So traditionally, if you look at it, most organizations, uh, businesses have always looked for outcomes. They always look for results, uh, gaining insights from, uh, from where they can get insights from a data perspective. Uh, but they have been challenged quite a bit because a, a lot of this uh, it can't be self-serve. You actually are dependent on teams uh, to provide you a data uh, connection to a data source uh, to actually get uh, programming done, uh, to actually get insights that are required from, from data sources uh, of various kinds and, and build a, a warehouse construct that gets you to the data and, and typically takes a very, very long time from the time that they're looking for this data and that data becomes available and insight becomes available. Uh, that runs into days um, and, and weeks and months, uh, depending on uh, what you're looking at. Um, so these are actually uh, significant inhibitors for businesses uh, to, to take quick decisions, to, to, to work on outcomes that actually uh, arise from the insights. 
On the other side, uh, the technology teams and IT organizations um, have been looking for agility. They need speed. Uh, they need to be able to enable their businesses fast enough. But adding a, a source, a data source, takes weeks uh, in today's context. Uh, building an insight takes uh, weeks and months. And they also have to rely on skills expertise in today's world um, that are not easy to find. And, and there are a lot of complexities from a technology perspective. Uh, so we looked at this, uh, this scenario and, um, and we said we have to uh, provide uh, our clients with a platform, a solution that, uh, that addresses the needs of the entire spectrum from business team uh, to technology uh, and implementation. So uh, the, the business requirements of agility and, and need to rapidly gain insights and take actions and the technology teams need to be flexible to be able to rapidly uh, build and develop industry-specific uh, applications for, from an analytics perspective. And that's where uh, the Infosys uh, Big Data Edge uh, comes into picture. So the Infosys Big Data Edge is, is the best data platform for empowering both technology and businesses to rapidly develop and action industry-specific insights. And it focuses on key three things, uh, three key things. Uh, the first one is the ability for uh, businesses to do real-time data discovery. Uh, one key element we have to remember is that most enterprises today um, have this plethora of, of huge amount of, of data uh, uh, which have not been looked at in the past. What that also means is that there is a huge amount of discovery to be done. It's important to enable the businesses and empower them to discover data as they go along because what question can be answered with the, with the, with the technology and, and insights is something to be discovered. There are specific industry use cases that we are aware of today, but we believe that over the next two to three years, several new applications of, uh, of, of big data could be realized by discovering more possibilities of permutations and combinations of what this data can tell. Very, very important. So we believe we can uh, uh, speed up the extraction process by about 40%. The second component is the rich and rapid insights that the platform provides. Uh, we believe it's eight, eight times faster than what it is today. Um, and this is made possible by uh, algorithms which are pre-built. We have uh, 250 plus pre-built algorithms which helps businesses to gain rich and rapid insights from the data sources that are uh, connected. Uh, and the third important thing is ability of businesses to act on decisions. Uh, today's systems um, provide insights um, uh, in, in pockets, uh, and it's important as we see it uh, to have the businesses able to share that insight with the relevant set of stakeholders and collectively be able to take decisions uh, that can drive outcomes, uh, that can drive results. Um, and that's what we have enabled through the, the action decisions process through a collaborative wall where the insights can be shared and, and decisions can be taken almost in real time when necessary. Uh, so as I said, what's the, what's the comprehensive platform about? Uh, it actually covers the entire spectrum of discover to decision lifecycle as we just talked about. Uh, first of all, uh, we have built uh, in the initial phase of aggregation of, of discover aggregation of data, 50 plus pre-built connectors which connects to several sources of data. This spans across um, uh, your traditional uh, data sources which are structured, um, it could be your inventory management system or GL or procurement or CRM, uh, which are structured or, or data warehouses. It also has connectors that connects to unstructured data within the enterprise, like your document management system, state backups, messages, email, XML, and so on, as well as external data, like your Facebook feeds or Twitter feeds or RSS feeds, uh, or even third-party aggregation data. So, so it's important to have uh, these connectors ready and available. And what's, what's more attractive about our, our, our uh, platform is we have extender, extend, extensible framework to this connector that new connectors can be built with very significant ease because uh, in this world of disparate data sources, it's important to be able to connect to new data sources. Um, the second component of process, analyze and visualize uh, to develop rapid insights is a process where you have uh, these algorithms that we talked about, 250 plus algorithms. One well, of the most important aspect of this is these algorithms can be built on the fly as well. As organizations discover new data, they have visual interfaces of drag and drop features that enable them to connect new data sources and build new algorithms on top of that on a self-service basis. So they're not depending on external teams uh, to create something for them. 
very, very important because that's, that's part of the discovery process, that's part of the rapid insight development process and, and rediscovery process as necessary. In the visualization options, we have 50 plus visualization op uh, uh, options which the businesses can choose from um, and this gives rich, rich visualizations for them to be able to start making decision recommendation. And the operationalize is where we have uh, the construct where the stakeholders can come together um, and make decisions quickly in a collaborative form that can be implemented very quickly. Um, here we will look at um, the discover and aggregate components where we have the 50 uh, plus out of the box connectors, um, extensible connector frameworks, it has automated 80% of connection functions, and the transformation builder which actually helps in building uh, the transformation logic with visual approach. Uh, and this reduces the time to aggregation of data by more than 40% huge benefits as our clients have already seen it. Um, um, the process analyze and visual components actually are working on a metadata based virtual data source uh, which actually reduces your infrastructure costs hugely by more than 30 percent and more importantly it actually lends itself into what we call as uh, a, 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 a virtual data uh, data mart or, or an augmented data warehouse uh, or as Gartner calls it, calls it the logical data warehouse uh, because in the future, we believe that organizations will have a construct where structured and unstructured data comes together seamlessly in, in forming an augmented data warehouse that organizations will depend on for analytics. Um, an insight builder, which actually has a drag and drop visual interface and, and a repository of algorithms and easy to build visualization options, which again on a self-serve basis can be enriched um, even further, uh, generates insight eight times faster and the operationalization options that we talked about, which is uh, collaboration wall-based, uh, cross-functional collaboration possibilities, real-time decision possibilities, as well as an enterprise workflow, which actually actions decisions in real time. Huge value as, as we see in the organization. So what is the core platform? What, is, what, are, we, what are we selling? What are, the, what are clients buying from us? And what's, what's the value here? Uh, obviously, the, the core platform is what we talked about so far, the Infosys Big Data Edge platform covers the entire spectrum from discovery uh, to insights to visualization to actioning of the decision, which we believe is the most comprehensive platform that exists today in the marketplace because everything else that we have seen so far are point solutions that addresses one uh, specific problem at a time. So on top of this uh, core platform, uh, we have built pre-built industry applications like account takeover, uh, next best offer, proactive customer care, micro segmentation, and so on. And it also has a framework to build new industry applications like we talked about in the core platform that gives industry-specific use cases to be built very, very quickly. The second component you see on the right-hand side is the augmented data warehouse because we believe that the data warehouse construct of the future is it has to be augmented with the structured and unstructured data. Um, and that's what we believe the core platform, the Infosys Big Data Edge, significantly uh, accelerates. Um, as, uh, I was, as I know uh, uh, from, a, from a Gartner research, uh, they actually have predicted that by 2016, what they call as logical data warehouse will become a reality. Uh, and we believe that with our platform, uh, the Infosys Big Data Edge, we actually can get that done for our clients uh, in 2013, 2014. That's the level of acceleration we're talking about. And surrounding all this, we have our professional services that helps our customers with our consulting, with road mapping, with transformation, change management, and so on and so forth. So why Infosys? Um, we believe we have the, 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 the superior platform, which is comprehensive from complete discovery to decision journey, um, addresses the entire spectrum from, from the needs of business and IT, uh, and, ability, and also pre-built industry-specific applications that ability to create more very, very fast. Um, our focus on business value, acceleration of time to insight by eight times, data extraction 40% 40, 40 faster, and ability to enable businesses to action decisions in real time. We have a huge uh, team of, uh, ex of experienced professionals in analytics and big data. We have over 6,000 experts uh, wor uh, organization-wide, worldwide. Uh, we, have, uh, had, we have done in excess of 300-plus engagements with an ecosystem of very, very strong 20-plus partners, and that's what we bring to the table from an input standpoint. Uh, this is actually uh, to give you a sense of one of the case studies, uh, use cases of what we have implemented uh, with, with our clients. Um, let's take a, an example of a financial services organization, uh, which actually had a challenge 
uh, in assessing uh, the exposure to their borrowers, the risk exposure of their borrowers, they, had the, they, they were not able to determine uh, the total liability of the borrower because a lot of this information was fragmented in multiple contracting documents in the organization and probably uh, spread across multiple business units and not integrated because a lot of these data uh, points are not in structured forms. They are actually semi-structured or sometimes completely in text-based contracts. Um, what is extracted into structured databases are very small salient features of those contracts. So the, the liability of the contracts that they have with the borrowers were spread across. So there was no single source of data that linked it all. Uh, the risk exposures were hidden across, across several disconnected levels in terms of the hierarchy of, of the risks. The solution that we built uh, using our Infosys Big Data Edge platform was to establish uh, the connections across the, and, and identify risk exposures using our record linkage algorithm. Um, it had pre-built information sources to both internal and external sources, uh, significantly improving uh, the accuracy of exposures and, and the calculations of exposures. So now the organization had a single view of what their total exposure was with respect to a certain borrower or even a certain asset. Um, and so the, the business value was huge. The agility for insights and actions, uh, we reduced it from typical four months it would take to actually get something like this done to less than four weeks. Um, the discovery was real time and we were able to uncover hidden exposures of uh, about 43% of the accounts. And that was seen as a huge benefit by the organization. And now it's a continuous process. Um, and as we, uh, uh, as we go through some of the specific uh, problem statements and how the solution and platform can answer those uh, problem statements, more use cases become apparent as to where this can be applied. And that's seen as a huge benefit by most organizations. Um, so uh, with that, I come to the end of my presentation. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, Rich, uh, if you have any specific questions, I'm uh, happy to answer. Yeah, yeah. Th uh, thank you for that, Vishnu. You know, a question comes to mind uh, right at the start here. You've built up a, a sizable company with 6,000 people. That, that took some time. But at the same time, big data is a relatively new phenomenon. Uh, what's changed? Yeah, so... Um... So 6,000 people um, are, are, uh, are teams that focuses on analytics and big data. Um, so just to um, uh, get you uh, the context from an Infosys standpoint, Infosys is a 150,000 people organization globally. Um, so this, this 6,000 people group actually focuses on uh, analytics and big data. Um, and what we have done here is, is, is to really speed up uh, you know, the skills required for the market as well as skills required to build solutions and platforms. So we have uh, created what we call as a big data academy, uh, which focuses on technologies around cloud and big data, um, which, uh, which enables people to train and retrain and reorient themselves to what we need uh, from a skill set perspective. Um, secondly, what we have also done is from, from, the, from the platform, uh, we have actually hidden a lot of complexity behind uh, our platform. So uh, so when businesses and IT organizations uh, use our platform, um, it is something that, uh, that actually reduces the need for uh, high-end skills uh, to, to build some of these components and put it together. At the same time, it also reduces the needs of data scientists that most business organizations need to hire because today the data scientist productivity is very, very low, mostly because uh, they need to wait a long time before they can get to the data. Um, and what we have tried to do here is to significantly improve the productivity of data scientists, um, and that's something that most businesses have realized as one of the key benefits of the platform itself. Sure, sure, that makes sense. Uh, so, Vishnu, as you work in this this big data marketplace, do you uh, you think we are really at the frontier of this, or do you come into it as uh, uh, you know kind of a uh, a senior member w with the know how to turn big data into money? Yeah, I think um, it's a bit of both. Um, uh, one is, I think, uh, you know, th there is there's a lot of technology out there, um, um, but the key uh, challenge that uh, most of our clients have is uh, to actually put it together. Um, and and it's something uh, if you don't have a standardized way of doing it, uh, you may end up in uh, a, a new set of technology components that complicates things even further. Um, so yes, definitely, there's a there's a there's a lot of technology out there, um, and what we have tried to do here is to to bring the leading edge platform 
uh, that brings it all together and starting to unlock uh, unlock the value in actually uh, transforming insights or data into um, into into value into into money into uh, new products into operational excellence into more customer satisfaction so um, exactly i think uh, a bit of both as i as i would uh, term it yeah yeah so kind of a wrap up here uh, question vishnu of uh, how easy it is it for uh, a client that might have perked up their ears and they heard what you had to say today to uh, how easy is it to come in and, and kick the tires and and see if this is right for them yeah, great question, Rich. I think uh, the, the way we have uh, set this up is that uh, what we believe is it's important for uh, organizations um, uh, in, in, in any country, um, and, and we have a lot of our clients now in, in the USA, um, to actually do a quick POC. Um, and we believe that uh, a, a few weeks POC is worth it because it's important to first understand how exactly this works um, and also to realize value quickly and and make a case out of it because uh, it's not that hard. If you if you get this platform in, we actually can demonstrate uh, the value of the platform to a POC in a few weeks' time, um, and that's something that most organizations really love about it. Um, so it's it's not that complicated. It's not that hard. Um, it's uh, it's a few weeks of effort uh, to get it in, uh, get one use case, one specific problem addressed, or one use case implemented. Uh, to really see the potential of what it has. Well, terrific. Well, Vishnu, I want to thank you um, once again for coming on the show today. Thank you. Thanks, Rich, and thanks for your time, and thanks for your interest. Okay. You All right, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on the world of big data.